And we begin with our election command center. Straight into politics, the National Communications Director of the National Democratic Congress has accused President Kufado of easing the COVID-19 restrictions to serve his own interest. President Kufado relaxed the restrictions he imposed over the coronavirus on Sunday after some three months of imposition. This initiative. It is very clear that the easing of restrictions was motivated by the president's parochial political interest and not the national interest. The fact that church and mosque gatherings are not supposed to have more than 100 people in attendance and are supposed to last for just an hour. But the NIA and the Electoral Commission have been given the freedom and the carte blanche to register an unlimited number of people from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., that's 10 hours, shows clearly that the so-called partial reopening of churches, mosques, and schools was only a ruse to the president's main agenda which is the new voters register. And let me repeat this for emphasis. The president says that schools and churches, mosques can reopen, but they are not supposed to exceed, um, with, for churches and mosques, an attendance of 100 people. And they are not supposed to have services beyond an hour. And yet, in that same address, the president says, the NI and the gmsa led EC can go ahead and register people in this country. They were not limited as to the number of people they can register per day. They were not limited as to the number of people they can gather per day. And they were not limited as to the number of hours they can spend on that needless and useless exercise that has the potential of spreading the coronavirus per day. No limitations or restrictions were imposed on that. That should let you know that the president's main agenda, main motive for easing these restrictions it's as we have already indicated, the execution of the needless and wasteful voter register agenda of the GMENSA-led Electoral Commission. We are appalled by the GMENSA-led EC's refusal to honor the invitations of the National House of Chiefs, which were intended to promote dialogue on the matter of the EC's and trend decision to compile a new voter's register for the 2020 general elections. Our traditional authorities, Nananum, are key stakeholders in Ghana's peace architecture and have contributed enormously to the peace, stability, and democracy we are enjoying in Ghana today. The refusal of the Jimensa led Electoral Commission to honor their invitation is therefore highly disrespectful and an insult to the values and customs of this country. 